Hello and welcome back to the Frozen Wilds. So, there go the guys again interrupting me as I'm talking. Uh, we are heading over to uh, wherever this place is called. What are they doing here? Why are there tramplers up here? I thought they were only over in um, Gadget territory. Either way, we're heading over to do the, the claws beneath. Um, see what this is all about. Quite frankly, I have no idea. What? I have no idea. Hi, people. Bye, people. I thought that was an actual uh, thing then. Oh, we're going this way. And it was going to kill us or something. I don't bloody know. The amount of stuff that's in this game that wants to kill me. You'd expect that would have been too. Um, I should probably... Restock after my battle with the... What was it that I just did last? The Thunderjaw. That was the last thing we took out. Why am I even collecting that? I don't have that weapon equipped. I don't need it. The only things I need are the... Do I even need the fire kiln? I have no idea. I don't know what I need for what weapon and what I don't need. Thank God, this is a long way, isn't it? Alright. Wall. Climbing the wall. I thought something interesting might happen on the way over, which is why I brought you guys in earlier. However, it would appear... It's just a heck of a long way. So you guys won't see most of this journey. Right. Um. All right. We're, apparently, we're doing that. Who started the cut? Umnak said I'd find the claws beneath nearby. So where is it? Well, I mean, there's... Oh, it's a fucking rock breaker. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Let's take this out first. There you are. Just like Unak said. Then at least we have a fighting chance. Oh, God. There we go. I want that on. I took one out earlier in another mission. Um, but I was up on top of a mountain foot. Well, not a mountain, but... A very tall hill. And I was able to... Ooh. Disable it enough from up there that it, it couldn't genuinely do me any harm. Um, it couldn't go underground anymore. Which is what I'm planning to do with this bugger. If I can get it. If I can get its legs then that stops it being able to dig. And then it can't go underground. Makes it so much easier to kill. I don't know why these guys had so much trouble getting rid of this thing. It's not that bad. Break it completely. See? It's now stuck. I can't remember what it's weak to. Ooh. 
Oops. Apparently, just weak in general. So many weak points. You guys didn't see most of that. Homnak wasn't lying when he said you were tough. However, um, after I took its legs out so it couldn't go underground anymore, I pretty much spent the entire time uh, triple shotting it and just slowly peppering it down. Uh, it wasn't difficult. <laughs> I thought it was going to be harder than that. However, we shall go back all the way over here and hand in the quest. Hi. Um, I thought that was going to take a lot longer than it did, so... It's over. It wasn't easy. It was easy. It won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. <laughs> this part of your song will travel far. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. <laughs> You're an exception, though. We are. And you've done me a true kindness. No problem. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. What is it? More I blue gleam? More than earned it. What was that? More blue gleam. Do I have enough now? So I'm just gonna... Treasure box. I can't get any more out of that. Okay. Um... Is it that one I got? No, it was that one... No, I could get... I'm not quite enough. Not quite enough. I need three more blue gleam to get that. I can, however, sell a bunch of random stuff that I've collected. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Cool, let's get rid of all those. Just gives me more shards. I can't feel my... I can't feel much of anything in this. <laughs> right, are we... We're only a level 46, but... Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more Frost Claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with his course. Sounds like good advice, but... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. 
So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened? What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Please Rhea do. led the way to the summit. But it was blocked by a great door. Some kind of cauldron. Mm. New metal. I hate cauldrons. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Array to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I, I don't do think he knows. Know. No. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death. That's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit, then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. All right. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. I'll give this to the Osram. Whatever they do, they do with passion. Let's go find Araya. And start this mission. Oh, hang on. We don't have enough Ridgewood. To make more arrows. Shit. <laughs> I may have to go and buy some Ridgewood. Um, I will be back, guys. Uh, when I'm stocked enough for this. <laughs> Much better. Right. Now we will go up. Totally stocked on everything. Awesome. Let's go see Araya. See what she has to say. What we have to do. Oh, I am not looking forward to this. Especially not if there's a cauldron at the other end of it. That's that's not. <sighs> Alright. Eloy. This is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit, and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways, but... No, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Araya? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratak. Yeah, well... You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but... He's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Um... Let's ask. Ask about Aratok her captivity. Told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, we think about what's truly important the spirit, the blue light, the beyond. And my brother, too. 
Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. Aww. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Ask about now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Please tell Silence me then. came to Bon Or from the distant north, the young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a okay. remote Werak that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Oh. Relics of the old world stolen. Oh. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Strange. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. Yeah, well, we know that, don't we? But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. Right, Thunderstrom. What are we find up there, Horea? Ruins, machines, and a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt that Damon has tried to hide the way. All right. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Yes, we're ready. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother!
So you see, I too can call upon the power of the old ones. <laughs> yeah, you set off a fire alarm. <laughs> Essentially. I mean, it works, but you set off a fire alarm. What was this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from terrible danger. Fortress. It looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? It is a machine. The blue light often dwells in machines. Let's just hope that some remains here. However, I think that's gonna have to wait until next episode because I am all out of time. Uh, do you mind, Aradak? I'll be back again very shortly with more Horizon Zero Dawn. But for now, from me, that's goodbye.